Welcome people, this is Spiritual Warrior Magistry, Royalty, Power, and Success in Christ Jesus. Um, today's topic will be really delicate. It will be my experience with this. As you know, people are not perfect. People are not born perfect. People make mistakes. People make imperfections. But today's topic is going to be about abortion and my experience with it. Um, and before this, I want to talk about the mercy and grace of God, of Jesus Christ, of the Trinity, the Godhead, the Father, Jehovah, the Son, Jesus, and the third person, the Holy Spirit. How mercy and gracious is the Lord Jesus Christ. Especially when we don't deserve it. Especially when we have done wrong. Um, we've done wicked acts. And I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just going to dive into it because it's a really delicate topic. I'm not going to mention any any names or anything like that, but... Um, you know, it's not to attack the person um, that committed this because I am also guilty of this. But let's just say um, a lover that I had had an abortion. And did I agree with him? No, I didn't. I didn't agree. But it all comes down to the decision of, you know, nowadays, the ladies, right? You know, it's their choice, right? Their body, their choice. And I'm not here condemning the person or spreading any hatred or revenge, anything. It's just that I'm really called here to talk about the mercy and grace of Jesus Christ and how merciful and good he is especially even after these wicked acts you know that I'm also guilty of of course I'm also guilty of even if I you know didn't agree with it but it's crazy it's crazy when, what I was searching up, you know, and what the Holy Spirit was teaching me, how how these acts are super wicked. God hates them. God hates the person that's doing them. That can, in fact, also be, be me because I'm also guilty. And the point is, like, wow. Like, I get, you know, speechless at times just to, to witness his mercy, his grace, his goodness to someone wicked, you know, like, wow. But we're going to dive, you know, um, deep into this. Well, before this, the Holy Spirit was also, you know, teaching me that it's so like to have that mentality to commit abortion is to have the spirit of Jezebel the most wicked and evil spirit out there I'm not here to talk about the Jezebel spirit but wow and to have such a heartless heart you know to kill your own child and I am also guilty of this even if I you know never agreed or anything like that I, as the man, could have, you know, stepped into authority, but hey, man, this, the Jezebel spirit, I asked God for forgiveness and everything like that. Um, wow, like, I'm not trying to, you know, you know, throw any shade at the person. 
oh wow it's a very very um you know out there trait of the jezebel spirit and a very heartless person um to commit that and everything like that and um you know um just completely evil like i was also like um from a from an indian pastor you know he's really good on, on youtube too like he was saying like how like when people commit abortions like the person lacks natural affection lacks empathy i'm like wow such evilness you know in my mind at the time i was you know supportive whatever the decision but i'm like wow to have that evil heart to have that lack of affection it only says one thing about the person and i'm also guilty because i'm i'm gonna dive deep into more of the scripture where so i can explain that part but i'm gonna um, dive deep in to say that you know it's wrong for a lot of people that out there that say it's justified it's not not unless you ask for forgiveness and trust in jesus then you know only then he can forgive you but the original ten commandments it says exodus twenty thirteen, thou shalt not kill very specifically and we have tons of of people committing abortions out there saying it's right you know saying because i don't have money because you know from material things and everything like that they don't trust in god they don't fear god um they don't want god you know they only they only love themselves it's very selfish behavior you know hmm. but it's it's insane psalms we're gonna go on psalms 127 verse 3 says children are a heritage from the lord and offspring a reward from him they are a blessing children are a blessing yes but also they are the church of god they are the church of god this is why satan wants them dead how mercy how much mercy and grace the lord jesus christ had over me even after that incident of the abortion it wasn't a full-on baby of course not of course it wasn't but as soon as you know conception happens or even a tiny little bit that's still a soul it's still a baby you know even if the the little the little baby's like this which it was it's still a soul i'm still guilty of something which i asked the lord to forgive me but i've killed the church of christ not only me but the person did as well how merciful is the lord jesus christ how much grace he's given unto me how grateful how much more grateful i should be towards him you know he's the one that never leaves you or forsakes you That's crazy. And there's other stories out there that people have committed. Three abortions and everything and four abortions. And the Lord has still forgiven them. How merciful and goodness is Jesus Christ. How forgiving is he? But yes, when people do this, they kill the church of God. Because it's a blessing. It's, the, you know, it's an offspring. It's a reward from him. It's a blessing. But we kill the church of God. We kill we kill off the growth of Christianity. You know, so much wickedness, you know. Um the last verse I'm gonna read is in Proverbs six, sixteen, nineteen. There are six things 
the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil. So I hope you guys caught that for the people that justify abortions or say that it's right or they try to make an excuse for it. God hates you. And God, you know, also hated me for doing that. People get it wrong. People think that God is all love. Yes, he is all love. But he is also judgment and wrath. You know, and I genuinely ask for forgiveness for this. You know, but I'm sharing this with you guys because not only because of the mercy and grace of God that, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ had over me. But to tell you guys, to warn you guys about this, don't do it. Of course I felt bad after this. I was never okay with it at all. At all. You know, it's just, wow. It's just insane. The Jezebel spirit, um, the prideful spirit, the selfish spirits, the wicked spirits. This is a wicked act. You know, but in this society, everything is turned into wrong. Whatever is right is actually wrong, and whatever is wrong is actually right in this society and in this world. And it's crazy. It's crazy what what, what goes on. You know, the whor the Lord hates these things. He's hated me for it. He's hated the person, you know, that I've done this. My own child, you know, how wicked, you know, and how uncourageous was I, you know, to stand up against the Jezebel spirit. You know, I will always regret this, you know, to the day that I die. You know, I, of course I didn't agree with it at all. But evilness prospers in this world wickedness prospers in this world and i'm not here to throw any shade at the person i hope this person generally you know asks for forgiveness to the lord as i ask generally forgiveness to the lord and on that day on that judgment when he asked me why did i allow this to happen why didn't i have courage i'm gonna be speechless I cannot say anything to the Lord. I be mean, like, Lord, I was weak. I was unself. I was selfish. I was out of it. You know. He's gonna ask me, why did I kill the Church of God? For those people that are out there, you know, wanting to commit these things, don't do it. It's the Church of God. It's a blessing. And if you don't have any material um, possessions or money to support the child, um, either adopt it to a well-off family that really wants a child, or let God, you know, um, let Jesus Christ intervene in your life and bless you with that child. He will provide. A lot of people don't don't trust him, but he will provide. You know, don't do these things. Um, they really will affect you mentally, physically, but most of all, spiritually. You're always going to have that thing in the back side of your mind. Like, oh, like I'm a murderer. Like, what did I do? And everything like that. No matter if it's a full-on baby or it's like this or something like that. It's still a baby. It still has a soul. You know? Don't do it. This is what Satan wants. You know? And these are wicked acts of the demonic. They're satanic. Just like back then, like when Israel was going to take over the, the, you know, the Canaanites, that land, you know, they were doing abortions too. Such wicked acts. They were literally sacrificing them, putting them inside the ovens. And that's what it is. Probably not in my experience, you know, 
it, it wasn't in an oven, but still. Whether a baby's like this, tiny, 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 like super tiny, or is as big like this, you know, it's still, it's still a soul. You know, and like, I'm spreading this out there because there's a lot of people that, you know, support abortion, which is evil and wicked. There's a lot of people that are thinking twice, you know, about abortion. Like, should I keep it or should I not keep it? Keep it. Of course, keep it. But also show good morals to that, to that child, you know. So it could become a more blessing. And trust in Jesus. Get into the word. Ask for forgiveness or... There's people that already committed that just ask for forgiveness. He's merciful. He's gracious. He's beyond good. Like, you haven't even imagined. He's beyond good. You know, even even after the abortion, I was still committing fornication with this woman. Sex outside of marriage. How merciful is the Lord to still keep me alive every single day. Every single day. And I've repented for that. And I will... I've never ever want to ever commit that ever again. You learn from your mistakes that you have done. You know, the Holy Spirit convicted me about all of this. You know, the Holy Spirit's always right. You know, for a moment, the pleasure only lasts, you know, a certain time. You know, His words, this is why it says His words will never fade away but the world will always fade away but his words never do his words are eternal jesus christ is eternal wow so much power but i hope this is an encouraging it's not condemnation for people that have committed these things ask for forgiveness towards jesus christ let us trust in him let us remember that he's merciful and gracious and just make sure never to commit these things ever again. I and my part have asked for forgiveness, but I was called to make this video to help you guys and encourage you guys, you know, you know, to repent of this. These are wicked acts. And also, if you have a child or anything like that, keep it, you know, keep it and show the child the ways of the lord you know so he won't depart from evil and you know so it could be a blessing in your life but i hope this video is very encouraging it's really a delicate topic so like comment subscribe whatever i'm all here for it